In these problems, we're being asked to graph some sine and cosine functions, and they have some numbers multiplied uh, on the outside of the sine or the cosine function. I've got some example graphs of just the plain old sine and cosine functions, y equals sine of x and y equals cosine of x. And I think it's useful to look at a unit circle uh, to think about these graphs and why they look like they look. So let's just plot out a few uh, essential points on our unit circle. So here's 0. Here's pi over 2. Here's pi. And here's 3 pi over 2. These are the main points you want to be looking at in a graph of the sine or the cosine because you know the, the graph of the sine is the graph of the y-coordinate of the points on this circle. And once you've gotten around to 0 again, up to 2 pi, it just repeats itself. So that's why you see this repeating shape. This is, well, it's what they call a sine wave. Uh, so it starts here at 0. At 0, the value of sine is 0. The y coordinate is 0 here. Once you get up at pi over 2, it's up to 1. So you see this slope that goes up to 1. By the time you get to pi, the y coordinate here on the circle is back to 0. So we slope down to 0. And then to get down to 3 pi over 2, we go down to negative 1 and then back up to 0. And once you've got that much plotted out, you've basically got the whole thing because it just repeats itself. The cosine is pretty similar, except, of course, it's the x-coordinate. So at 0, it starts at 1. And by the time it gets to pi over 2, it's down to 0. At pi, it's down to negative 1. And then it goes back up to 0 and up to 1 again at 2 pi. So how, then, do we graph something like 1 half sine of x or 5 halves cosine of x? Well, I think the best way to do this uh, is just make a chart. Uh, when you graph anything, you make a chart of the x values and the y values. So the x values are the things we're putting in here to take the sine of. And I would say just take these four main values. Uh, so let's do 0. Let's do pi over 2. Let's do pi. Let's do 3 pi over 2. OK, so when I put in 0, for x, I take the sine of 0, that is 0. And then I multiply that by 1 half, I get 0. 0 times 1 half is 0. So 0, 0 is on our graph. Now at pi over 2, the sine is up to 1. So the sine of pi over 2 is 1. And then I multiply that by 1 half. 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So we're going to have the point pi over 2, 1 half on this graph. At pi, we're at 0 again. So this is going to be 0. And at 3 pi over 2, we're at negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 half is negative 1 half. So just from looking at these coordinates, you might see already that what this is doing is just squishing the graph a little bit. We've got, actually, let me get a different color here. We've got the point 0, 0. We've got the point pi over 2, 1 half, and then pi and 0, and 3 of pi over 2, 1 half and then back, of course, to 0 at pi over 2. So what we've got is just a shallower sine wave, but doing the same basic shape. So that's y equals 1 half sine x. For 5 halves cosine, we're going to do something pretty similar. We'll make that chart again, and then we'll just plot it out. I want 0, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. So the cosine of 0 is 1. And we're going to multiply this by 5 halves, so that's going to be 5 halves. At pi over 2, the cosine, which is the x-coordinate, is 0. 0 times 5 halves is 0. At pi, we get negative 1 for the cosine. We multiply that by 5 halves. We get negative 5 halves. And at 3 pi over 2, uh, we're back to 0 again for the cosine. So 0 times 5 halves is 0. So let's go ahead and plot these points. Let's choose a different color. So 0 and 5 halves. Well, 5 halves is uh, 2 and a half. So we're somewhere up here. And then we've got pi over 2 and 0, so right there. And negative 5 halves here, so somewhere over here. And 3 pi over 2 is 0. And at 2 pi, we're back at the same value we were at 0, so somewhere over here. So this one just stretches this this cosine function and makes it dip down lower and go up higher. But it's basically the same 
same kind of thing. We've just stretched out the graph. So that is how to plot graphs of uh, the sine or the cosine of x when it's multiplied by something.